Hello Pisces, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Table Tarot, and this is your reading for March 2024. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And yeah, let's get on with your reading. What's happening for you beautiful Pisces in March? Okay, lots of things. So and quite quickly as well, I feel like the first week of March in particular, you're instantly going to see things happening. It's not like a slow month for you. You have the Eight of Wands, I just flipped that over. Eight of Wands very speedy, very quickly. Um, a lot of fast movement, forward movement as well. And the thing is, I feel like this is grounded. Sometimes you get things happening really fast, whether it be um, in your career, it's like up and then, right? Or whether it be in love, things are progressing really, really quickly, but then they don't go anywhere. This is something that's grounded, whatever quick things are happening, because of, because of the turtle, because of the tortoise, right? Slow and steady wins the race, and the tortoise, I feel, wins the race. So whatever's happening quickly... Forget about the speed of it. I feel like it's still grounded. I feel like it's still going in the right direction. Even if there could be a feeling of this is moving too fast. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Page of Cups. So Page of Cups actually came out before those. Page of Cups is a surprise. Page of Cups is a happy thing. Happy things. Um, This could even be an apology from someone that you kind of forgot that was owed to you. I feel for some of you it's going to be a little bit like, oh... That took me off guard. I wasn't expecting to ever hear from you again. Um, there's just a feeling of you not really expecting or wanting something. Um, with that, you actually have the card of expecting. You could be expecting maybe to be single forever. Maybe this is an apology when it comes to love. Maybe this is you um, just expecting to be very, very... Um, I feel as if you might be... What's the word? I don't know, it's obviously not supposed to come through, but there's something where you might be overly independent and you're expecting to stay that way. I'm getting something about pet shops come through, which is funny because obviously there's a lot of animals here, and particularly a fish, and a, a goldfish, which is just like a standard pet to me, but you could work in a pet shop, you could meet someone in the pet shop in March, it's very important to you, I don't know, but... You're kind of expecting to be on your own in March, whether that be you in a relationship and your partner's away. You're expecting to be self-sufficient in March. And that might be why you're surprised. <laughs> because you won't end up being so independent. The Fool. Some of you have like a new... um. This is a weird thing to say, maybe, but you have like a new character coming into your story that's always going to be there. And the, I don't know why I'm getting that. Like, it feels like almost, almost like a TV show where you ha where they have the characters that are, um, you just know they're going to be long term. You just know the new one comes in, you're like, oh, they'll be there for the rest. You just know that this person will be in your life for a very long time, if not the rest of your TV show. Like, with the full, it's. A new journey it's a new beginning this person is going to introduce you to yourself like you weren't your full self which is very out of alignment for me to say because you're always your full self you're always your truest self of what you're aware of yourself like but there's something where there's certain aspects of yourself you've been hiding that this person will teach you you don't need to hide What else is going on for Pisces in March? The Chariot, the Hanged Man, you could be traveling. Um, the Hanged Man is looking at the world differently. It's kind of like, especially paired with the Chariot, it's kind of that energy of when you go away and you travel and you come home, but home doesn't quite look like home. It's a slight, slightly different now because your eyes have changed and your perspective on the world's changed and now your home doesn't feel the same and the way you're seeing it has changed. And I just feel as if that's the energy moving into March is, I don't know, maybe you're spiritually awakening and your home definitely looks different or your world looks different to you because you're seeing it through the eyes of someone more enlightened, of someone more aware of everything going on. But there's just, oh my goodness, there's this huge feeling of 
your life changing in March. And the chariot is also a card of speed. It's also a card of success. So even though I'm saying change, change isn't scary. This isn't a scary feeling. This it could be a little bit nerve-wracking because the fool's here. It's always a little bit nerve-wracking to jump when you don't really know if your wings will catch you. But this is successful. This is successfully kind of taking a leap of faith towards what you feel will be successful. And you'll kind of trust your intuition, trust your gut. What else is going on for Pisces? Key of Pentacles. Someone around you is, um, could be a father figure, could be a partner. King of Pentacles. Somebody's like, somebody wants to invest or give you a helping hand, which is a weird energy to get with the King of Pentacles, but I just feel as if somebody, somebody's gonna offer you. But it feels as if it's not so much, it doesn't feel like a gift, it feels like something you would repay. And not because they're telling you to, but because you don't like gifts. There's something where you're like, no, I'll just, I'll pay you back. And they're like, leave it. And you're like, no, I'll pay you back. But a lot of you, it's not necessarily, could just be somebody giving you advice or giving you their time when you know that they could be spending their time working or making money there's something where someone's giving you undivided time or money and you're making sure that you don't you're making sure it's paid back it's weird i'll get you one more card what's happening in march for pisces i'll get you another one so you've got temperance and you've got six of wands you have a lot of temperance came out reversed so I don't know if you're feeling less yourself lately or you're feeling a little bit off kilter. You're feeling sometimes quite angry, sometimes quite sad, sometimes quite happy. It just feels a little bit unbalanced because temperance is all about balance and calm and bliss. So reversed, you might be feeling waves of emotions that might feel a little bit intense. But with the six of wands, be careful with this because you're getting a lot of attention whilst you do so. You could be getting a lot of like eyes, a lot of people watching you. Um, maybe when you're not your best self. With temperance reversed, you could have a little bit of a temper, you could have a little bit of sense. Because Tara's advice, and obviously this isn't going to be for everyone watching, but it's coming through for someone that if you're not your calmest self in March, there's going to be someone that sees you. There's going to be, could be someone catches it on camera, there's something where you're not you i just got that <laughs> just thought of that advert i don't know if you have it where you are it's like that snickers advert you're not you when you're hungry um but the fact that that's come through maybe you are going to feel a little bit off this month maybe it's because you're not like eating consistently and you're just hungry you know and there's something where a little tiny outburst a little tiny decision or something could get you a lot of attention a lot now i'm getting that um, video that went round of that angry lady on the plane. Like, there's something little, and I'm, I'm sure she didn't intend that day to get on that plane and do that. Like, there's something. So just make sure to stay in balance, keep yourself in check. Especially with all those Leo cards came out coming out, maybe you've got a little bit of, um... Do you know what I'm looking? There isn't actually any Leo cards. Whoa, that's so strange. I thought I was speaking about Leo. Must have been someone else. Um, you could have Leo energy around you and you're picking up on someone else's energy. You could be very intuitive and psychic and so you are feeling off because someone else is. And so just keep that in check. Keep that tempered. Um, I don't know why I keep doing this. It's because this came out reversed and I just wanted you to remember that like this is reversed. So um, breathe. Don't... Let anyone else's energy affect yours. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Total Tarot Tuesdays.